As experts in the world of mixed martial arts, we are always on the lookout for the latest news and insights into the sport. That's why we were excited to hear about the recent comments made by Israel Adesanya regarding his opponent Alex Pereira. In a recent interview, Adesanya wished, good luck to the next mother f asterisk 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 that faces Alex Pereira, in the UFC. These comments have caused quite a stir in the MMA community, as Pereira is widely regarded as one of the top fighters in his weight class. But what makes Pereira so dangerous in the octagon? Let's take a closer look. Pereira is a two-time glory kickboxing middleweight champion and a former interim champ in the light heavyweight division. He has an impressive professional record of 32-6, with 21 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Pereira is known for his powerful striking and has demonstrated an ability to finish fights with his fists or his feet. But it's not just his striking that makes Pereira a formidable opponent. He also has a background in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and has shown a proficiency in grappling in his MMA fights. In fact, Pereira's only losses in MMA have come by way of submission, which highlights the importance of a well-rounded skill set in the sport. So, what does this mean for Adesanya and any other potential opponents of Pereira in the UFC? It means that they will need to be prepared for a fighter who can finish the fight from anywhere, whether it's on the feet or on the ground. But Adesanya is no slouch himself. The reigning UFC middleweight champion has a record of 21-1, with 15 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He is known for his technical striking and footwork, which has earned him comparisons to some of the greatest strikers in MMA history. In fact, Adesanya and Pereira have faced off twice before, with Pereira emerging victorious on both occasions. But those fights took place in the kickboxing ring, and Adesanya has since transitioned to MMA, where he has become one of the sport's top pound-for-pound -pound fighters. So, what can we expect if these two fighters meet in the octagon? It's hard to say for sure, but one thing is certain. It would be a clash of two of the sport's most exciting and dynamic fighters. In conclusion, while Adesanya may have wished, good luck, to the next fighter to face Pereira, he will need to bring his A-game if he wants to come out on top in a potential showdown. And for any other fighters in the middleweight division, Pereira's combination of striking and grappling make him a formidable opponent that cannot be taken lightly.